Welcome to the world of spy hilarity, where secret agents and chaos collide in the classic 1965 television series, Get Smart. Ever find yourself reminiscing about a favorite sitcom that seamlessly blended espionage with comedy? Or perhaps you've got a soft spot for a particular Hollywood icon gracing the small screen in this iconic show. The charm of Get Smart lies not only in its espionage parody, but also in the timeless appeal of its cast. Now, before we delve into the comedic chaos and secret agent shenanigans, here's a thought. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Alternatively, which classic Hollywood actor in Get Smart was your favorite? Feel free to share your thoughts below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories. Setting the stage for our exploration, Get Smart introduced audiences to the bumbling Maxwell Smart, portrayed by the incomparable Don Adams. Imagine a world where spy gadgets and witty banter were the order of the day as Agent 86 navigated the absurdities of the spy game alongside the alluring Agent 99, played by Barbara Feldon. Now, let's uncover a few random facts about this timeless series. Did you know that Get Smart originally premiered during the peak of the Cold War, providing a lighthearted escape during tense times? The series, created by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry, cleverly parodied the spy genre while leaving an indelible mark on television history. But enough of the facts, what about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Get Smart? Whether it's a laugh out loud moment, a favorite episode, or a connection to the unforgettable characters, share your anecdotes in the comments below. We're eager to hear the stories that make this series special to you. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or discovering the world of Get Smart for the first time, join us in celebrating the timeless humor and espionage antics that define this television classic. Your stories await in the comments section below. Get Smart, a classic television series that debuted in the mid-1960s, emerged as a pioneering blend of espionage, satire, and slapstick comedy. Created by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry, the show revolves around the bumbling yet endearing secret agent Maxwell Smart, codenamed Agent 86, played by Don Adams. The narrative unfolds within the fictional organization Control, pitted against the nefarious forces of cows. The series ingeniously parodied the prevailing Cold War tensions, offering a humorous lens on the spy genre. Agent 99, portrayed by Barbara Feldon, stood out as Smart's intelligent and resourceful partner, adding depth to the dynamic duo. The show's unique style seamlessly combined witty dialogue, clever gadgetry, and absurd plotlines, creating a timeless appeal that resonated with audiences. Get Smart not only pioneered the spy spoof genre, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent comedic takes on espionage. Its impact echoes in the legacy of satirical television, as it continues to inspire creators to infuse humor into the realm of secret agents. Agent 99, portrayed by Barbara Feldon, almost had a different name. Contrary to rumors, it wasn't about avoiding the number 69 due to censorship concerns. Originally, she was meant to be Agent 100 because she was 100%. However, Buck Henry opted for 99, finding it more feminine. This seemingly minor decision added a unique touch to the character dynamics in the series. Interestingly, in the Latin American dubbing of the show, voice actors took some creative liberties. They ad-libbed jokes and even crafted a fictional story about Max's alleged aunt living in Acapulco, turning it into a recurring gag. This showcases the adaptability and humor injected into the series through regional dubbing. Moreover, Get Smart had an unusual network journey. After NBC canceled it following four seasons, CBS picked it up for its fifth and final season. This shift allowed the series to find a new home and wrap up its run with the introduction of the bionic woman on CBS. These behind-the-scenes tidbits offer a glimpse into the decisions and adaptations that shaped the iconic spy spoof series. Whether it's the naming of characters or the improvisational flair and dubbing, these elements contributed to the enduring charm of the show, leaving an impact that resonates even today. Inspired by the man from UNCLE, Barbara Feldon made a guest appearance on the earlier series as an UNCLE agent. This connection with the spy genre paved her way to a prominent role in the 1965 TV series. Feldon's portrayal of Agent 99, alongside Don Adams' bumbling yet endearing Agent Maxwell Smart, contributed significantly to the show's success. Her experience in the genre brought depth to her character, enriching the dynamics within the spy-themed narrative. The influence of her earlier appearance resonated in the chemistry she shared with Adams, adding a unique layer to their partnership. 
Barbara Feldon, an integral part of the 1965 TV series, was married to the show's producer, Bert Nodella, spanning over a decade. Her role as Agent 99 alongside Don Adams' Agent Maxwell Smart solidified the show's success. Interestingly, the show influenced Inspector Gadget, voiced by Adams, sharing similarities in their bumbling nature and catchphrases. Lines like, would you believe? And sorry about that, Chief made their way from the series into Inspector Gadget. Additionally, Control and Cows, integral parts of the show's narrative, were intended as acronyms but were never officially named. This connection between the series and its impact on subsequent works resonates in the realm of spy-themed entertainment, maintaining relevance across generations. Agent 99's true identity remained a mystery throughout the series, adding an enigmatic layer to her character. Even after her marriage to Max, her real name stayed concealed, occasionally hinted as Mrs. Smart. In one instance, Susan Hilton was suggested as her name, later retracted as an alias. This intrigue around her identity fueled ongoing speculation, contributing to the series' allure and keeping audiences engaged. Alongside this chief, despite being known as Thaddeus, adopted the cover name Harold Clark in the final seasons. Throughout, Chief's assistant, Larrabee, mirrored the name Platt portrayed in North by Northwest. These character intricacies added depth and continuity to the show, leaving fans with unanswered questions that kept them intrigued and invested in the narrative. In the 1965 series, the idea initially pitched to ABC star Tom Poston as Agent 86. When ABC turned it down, NBC stepped in but insisted on Don Adams for funding. This change marked the show's pivotal start, with Adams taking the lead role as Maxwell Smart. The switch set the stage for what became a groundbreaking series in the realm of spy comedy. The narrative's success hinged on this casting choice, propelling the character of Agent 86 into the comedic limelight, showcasing Adams' comedic prowess. This shift, pivotal in the series' inception, laid the foundation for the iconic dynamic between Smart and his partner, Agent 99, portrayed by Barbara Feldon. The show's history resonates in this critical alteration, steering its course toward lasting acclaim. As we close the doors on this reminiscing session, take a moment to reflect on the charm and wit that spun around the legendary television series from the mid-60s. Perhaps it's the antics of Maxwell Smart or the clever banter that lingers fondly in your memory. Whatever it might be, your connection with the timeless humor of that era deserves a nod. Consider sharing your favorite snippets from this classic Shoto's rib-tickling moments or the characters who etch themselves into your heart. Whether it's the unforgettable catchphrases or the ingenious gadgets, every anecdote adds to the rich tapestry of admiration for this iconic series. Your stories matter, they infuse life into the legacy of this beloved show. So, let's keep the conversation alive by weaving together our treasured recollections, celebrating the humor that transcends time and generations. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and reflection sits through our collective reminiscences that the magic of Get Smart continues to resonate. Your engagement enriches the shared nostalgia. Cheers to the memories and thank you for your time and interest.